Hey, good afternoon. Preacher Man Brian here on Wednesday, the, the 26th of August, uh, with my first installment of hopefully this is going to be something that um, I continue to do just on a weekly basis. Um, I'm just going to call it Little Victories. Little Victories for me is very personal. It, it's one of my rules of life, um, especially when I start getting into a fog and a funk and I need something just to kind of kind of shake it away. Um, I just find something that can change the fog and the funk, uh, change my mood, change my attitude, change my outlook, and I just celebrate as little victories. Something I can just go, woo, and, and make a big deal about. For me, it, it sometimes is a game changer um, for how I can get refocused, uh, reconnected, uh, reevaluate, all of that stuff that I think we're all kind of going through right now. Um, personally, I see so many of you and, and others um, with COVID fatigue right now, you know, kind of wanting to, to come out of the cocoon, but, but not really sure, you know, where I can land safely and do some things. Um, so I just want to take this time as a beginning to, to see some, um, some life being birthed from, from things that our church family um, is going to be involved with, um, and certainly still not being able to, to meet in the big gatherings. I, I want to make sure that we're communicating. I want to make sure that we're, um, uh, listening for opportunities and, and finding ways that we can just all strategically uh, find our place and and get our feet established and, and get some forward momentum um, as we all keep learning what a post pandemic you know world's going to look like and it's it's part of our church family and as I'm going to kind of unpack today what it means for our community um, I'm, I'm seeing more and more and more uh, the value of of community and, and yes it's a, it's our church family. But as we look at our neighborhoods, uh, especially here at Red Wine, as we're parked next to a, um, a middle school and then a high school, boy, we, we've got so many communal opportunities ahead of us. <clears throat> so today, the little victory that I want to celebrate is that right now, out, outside, there, there's three guys that are putting up uh, the, the new playground equipment here at Red Wine. Uh, the, the storm at Easter that, that knocked shingles off the roof and, and heavily damaged the playground fence and our big... Uh, playground set um, that, that was a that was a big defeat at that time but but as things have been put back together um, today we're having the the big playground set uh, being put in uh, for for many generations of kids to to enjoy uh, my prayer is that all the laughter um, all of the fun all of the families um, and, and as I'm thinking about this um, we need good outdoor spaces to gather and part of this vision now is uh, the, the back part of the church um, being that kind of space to, to come and, and have a picnic to come um, and, and have some 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 family outings to, to be able to to be outdoors to be able to be spread out but most importantly um, we're establishing a culture of, of relationships um, this kind of reminds me of, of the old movie, uh, Field of Dreams. And, and for Kevin Costner, it, it wasn't about uh, mainly building a baseball field in the middle of a cornfield in Iowa. The, the focus could be, why in the heck are you doing that? Uh, but the movie was really about um, a culture for, for relational opportunities, for all those uh, dead baseball players <laughs> to, to come together, for laughter, for relationships, for reconciliation. Kevin Costner got to play catch with his dad. So again, all of the, the, the many uh, relational components um, are part of the little celebration, the little victory um, that I want to celebrate today. Um, thank you. Love you. Find something that you're doing today just to celebrate a little victory. More to come. Just want to take a moment and to share. And as always, um, you know where to find me, you know how to find me um, if and when you need me. Love you. Talk to you soon.